Hi guys, how you doing? This is Q coming you from DIY Genesis, and today I wanted to talk to you about this post from David Vogelpool that's on the Genesis WordPress Facebook page. Well, one of the things he says here is a friendly reminder: don't be a Wild West coder. Test updates to your site, themes, plugins, etc., and a copy of your site, and not your live site. What great words of wisdom! And so, what does this really break down to mean? It's like don't push out. Uh, updates and changes to your live site without having an environment to first test those before you go to your live site so hopefully that makes sense you don't want to push out something that could potentially bring your live site down so what he's talking about is really great coding practice to either go to your hosting provider have a staging environment set up or if that's not possible which I practice preferably to actually have a local environment and so what he talks about here is a tool called local which is available at localwp.com so if you go to localwp.com you will see here there's this wonderful tool that you can download for free and this tool will allow you to set up your local environment a local environment which basically means you can set up your production level site as a local site basically having your own local version of that site so that you can make updates and changes locally and see how your site performs locally so if there is anything that breaks you would know about it well in advance before you push it up to the live site so I think this is really wise words of wisdom it's just just great practice to do this and get into practice of doing this all the time whether you're doing client work or you are just doing your own personal work it's just a great thing to do because you don't want to bring your live site down um, because of uh, unknown bug or there's something that just wasn't quite put together right and then you can find it out locally fix it locally and then upload that update to your live site so hopefully that really does make sense make sense to you and one of the things that um, he talks about here is uh, is, uh, is another plugin actually called the all-in-one WP migration we're not going to talk about that plugin in this video but I mainly wanted to just give you a little bit of an insight with local itself so I have local running already and I have one site spun up which is DIY Genesis as you can see you can set up multiple sites and spin them up as you need um, you can stop the site or start the site here and this is a wonderful tool and if you don't know about this I do another video that actually talks about how to install local so you can find that video on my channel here at DIY Genesis uh, talks about how to actually set up local and get it up and running and then again you can set your entire website up locally and then make all your updates and changes locally and then migrate those changes from your local environment to your live site so hopefully that really makes sense and it is really a great practice to make sure that you don't upload something that will bring down your live site that's the key you don't want to disrupt your production level site you want to have a staging environment whether you create that locally or your hosting provider provides a staging environment for you you want that go between that really safe zone that you can set things up and then once you're sure that everything works properly you can go ahead and just push that site out to the live site and then everything should work smoothly so hopefully guys this has been great value for you you've got some really good ideas to think about some things that you may want to practice and another video from here I'm going to talk about how to actually go ahead and do that migration once you've got everything set and you're running your local environment just fine um, here I have a local environment that's already set up and once you've got it ready and you think hey this is production ready it's ready to go live then in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually go ahead and use that WP migration tool to go ahead and migrate your site from your local environment to your live site so again guys I hope this has been valuable for you I hope you enjoyed it and please make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you share and uh, make sure that you leave comments below if you need to see additional videos or if there was something you didn't quite understand we're always here ready and willing for you to go ahead and uh, make your comments so we can get back to you and again make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified every time that we come out with new content you'll be first to be notified alright guys this has been Q coming to you from DIY Genesis